Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today we have another gameplay but before that I want to address a huge issue that most players are facing these days especially in the Middle East and EU servers and from the streams I watch I also noticed that it's rapidly spreading to Garena server as well which is the hacker's situation I already made a video a year ago addressing this issue and thankfully it caught the attention of Activision and they managed to limit their numbers. But sadly they're back, actually way worse than before. This is by far the worst season I've ever seen as I'm facing hackers in almost every single game and it's getting out of control. Now there are two main reasons for the sudden increase of hackers. First of all, most of the hacks available were limited to certain regions in the Middle East. They were very hard to find and not many players knew they even existed. However, a few seasons ago the hack sellers decided to extend their business and sell their hacks worldwide. So they started to assign distributors around the world from different countries. And as a result, more players from other regions gained access to these hacks. And to make things even worse, some hack developers stole the hack codes and they made their own versions of them and basically gave them out to everyone for free. The second and the biggest reason why we have many hackers these days, which is something I was very afraid is gonna happen. The Iranian players got their hands on hacks. And if you guys don't know, the Iranian community in this game is one of the biggest communities, if not the biggest. So you'll find Iranian players everywhere. In the Middle East server, Europe server, and even other Asian servers like the Indian server. And on top of that, they have access to both free and paid hacks. So even kids can hack easily. So from my experience, we have four different hacker species in the game. First of all, we have the zero fuck given species. Wall hacks, aimbots, speed hacks, everything. They don't care what people think, they're just here to ruin your day. And most of them get banned eventually because they get reported a lot. But unfortunately, I've seen some of them getting away with it because I'm guessing they're using paid hacks. And even if they do get banned, they just start new accounts and continue hacking. Next, we have the pro wannabe species, aka the fake tryhards. You know, the ones with YT in the end of their name. Except that unlike other YTs, these ones failed to learn the game the right way. And they gave up. So instead, they decided to take a shortcut by installing hacks. <laughs> <laughs> Here is one live example of these species. I met this guy and right away I knew there's something wrong. That's why I tried to run for cover. And I know many of you don't see anything wrong here. But I swear, I faced too many hackers to the point where I got a built-in hacker sensor. And I know when someone's being sus. And I was right about this one. Now I don't know how I survived the first shot, but the second one got me. And then right after that, he knocks me down from a very tight angle with 300 HP, this time with the KRM. Even Broken himself can't hit a shot like that, not even in a hundred years. I managed to knock him down once because he was so thirsty for kills, he was running like a headless chicken. And he forgot to equip his gun. So I opened my mic and I told him to stop playing like a noob and stop using hacks. And this was his response. No then again he embodied me here with an AK-47 so at this point my entire goal in this game was to eliminate him. I got him once here while he was busy fighting. And in the end, I got my sweet revenge. And you can see his aimbot here going crazy trying to target me. That's the fastest 360 I've ever seen in my entire life. Next, we have the smart hackers. Those are the ones I hate the most. So from their name, these species use their hacks very smartly and very carefully. Not even an OG experienced player can tell their hack. For example, they can see you and kill you from 300 or 400 meters away, but they don't. Because they know it's very sus and easy to get them exposed. And the reason why I hate them the most, obviously other than ruining the game for everyone, they're actually very good players. And they can kill anyone without using their hacks. And I'm sure you're wondering why are they using hacks if they got the skill. First of all, they're probably insecure about their skill and they played with hacks for too long they just can't survive without it but the main and the biggest reason why they use hacks is to win scrims and tournaments especially when there's money on the line taking advantage of the low security of private rooms it's almost non-existent there <laughs> And finally, we have the noob hacker species. 
I actually legit feel sorry for this one. They have wall hacks, aimbots, and speed hacks on, but they still die. Like, bro, do I send yourself a favor and just delete the game? So the question here is, what do you do if you encounter a hacker? At the end of the game, in the results screen, press this red button in the corner. And on the left, you'll see the names of all the enemies that killed you. Just click on the hacker's name, then check all the boxes, and you can type what hacks they used in the info box. Also, tell your team to report them, because it takes certain number of reports to get their account investigated. I really hope I Activision and Tencent managed to I wanna say stop the hackers but I know it's impossible. So at least limit the number of hackers because the game right now is literally unplayable in the Middle East server. And she's here. Now let's move on to the gameplay. I really enjoyed this game as I met few good enemies with crazy aim. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Even though I fired first and I got over 70 damage before he started shooting, he still managed to knock me down. He must have had a good aim combined with the fact that the switchblade kills faster than the PP at that range. But I got lucky with the revive location so I went straight for revenge to get my loot back. Drop is coming.
slow reaction from me here but the enemy's aim was just insane and he punished me for it but then he made a noob mistake looting like that in the open so he got killed by his own greed luckily my random teammate was smart and he waited for us to come back Your job is coming. My quick reaction to Nikto here was very crucial, plus the fact that I got 5 headshots that allowed me to just melt him, considering the fact that he had cover and pre-fire advantage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.